I want to be doing a little bit of quick and dirty work out here in the uh, wood shop this morning and my wood shop as you can tell is quite the mess all my tools are sort of crammed back into the back out there I've got bags and bags of pellets stacked out here I've got this big dresser here which I need to get finished for two reasons I need it upstairs to file away some clothes and stuff and I need it out of here because it takes up a lot of space so what I'm going to do this morning is uh, fabricate uh, I think I need two or three more of these pieces right here. This is shaped a particular way. It's sort of notched uh, in a couple of different ways here on the end. So I'm going to uh, create something exactly the same size with a notch in both ends like that and a little neck taken off one corner there. And they'll go inside of the uh, cabinet here. Let's see, I need, I need one right here. I need one right here and I've got one. All of them are in place on the other side. So basically all I need to do is make two of these things. I can put them back into place. Uh, lubricate this real good with some soapstone. Somebody suggested putting some old style flathead tacks right here on the edges, which I think is an absolutely right idea. Once I do that, I can go ahead and take this thing upstairs. I may need to do a, may need to do a little bit of work on some of these doors. I notice, see how you can see light through them. I uh, just want to check and make sure all the doors are in good shape that one there looks like it could use a little work so i'll just mess with that a little bit this morning see how far i can get done with that for time to mosey off the church this morning Day, this is probably a pretty nice piece of furniture. Um, I'm looking at it here and the drawers go in here and there's a little spring-loaded piece of wood right here. There's actually a, a, a metal spring behind this piece right here and what this does is this this sort of makes the drawer go in there straight. You know how all these things you put the drawers in they all turn sideways? Well this one had these little spring-loaded pieces of wood made in here, which I think is pretty cool. There is one, two, three of them in place. Four, one over here. And we're missing one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not actually gonna recreate that whole uh, spring-loaded gizmo. It'd be kind of cool to do, but that would be a, a much longer process than what I want to do today. What I'm doing instead is just cutting little strips to attach on either side of that. It'll do the same thing. It won't be quite as fancy, but it'll work. It should work just about as well. I'm just using an old piece of uh, pine tube of six that I cut to the right length. I'm going to take my table saw and cut little strips and slip them in there. We'll see how that works. Okay, let me share this with you. Uh, these drawers, the way they were set up before, they would go all the way in and keep going so that they would go in beyond the front of here, which made them stick and made them be able to do this stuff. What I did to fix that, you'll see I've got my little pine pieces along here that I was telling you about. Is I put in the back of each one of these, a little strip. What I did was I had this piece of wood which is an inch and a quarter. I put a drawer in here and I measured it and then I cut a bunch of these little blocks and I put one in the back of every one so that when that drawer goes in it hits that block and it stops and it stops so that the front of the drawer is level with the cabinet. I mentioned a while ago that I was going to church this morning so what I'm going to do I'm going to glue that block in place here and here there and there all along through here 
let that dry while I'm in church. Then when I come back after church, I should be able to uh, take this thing upstairs and start using it. So I wanted to share that with you because it's important. It helps those little blocks and these little side blocks helps everything to work smoothly. Which is what you want. You want it to work smoothly. You want it to be nice and flush and pretty. This looks tremendously better than it looks if the drawers are all shoved way in or sitting sideways and it works better than if they're all trying to go all crooked and everything, you know, when you put them in. So I just thought I'd share that with y'all. Have a nice day. I brought this thing in here and set it by the wood stove because uh, glue doesn't work all that well if you're working out in near freezing temperatures. Uh, and I figured it would be kind of pointless to glue this up and leave it sitting out there in the cold. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and glue it up and let it sit here by the wood stove. It should be uh, just about dry and good by the time I get back from church. Then we'll take it upstairs put the drawers in it. At some point I'm going to fix it. You'll notice somebody squirted a little bit of paint right here, which is pretty ugly, and there's some other little things. But at some point I'm going to take some light sandpaper or steel wool or something and brush all this down and probably put some linseed oil or something like that on there. Just because it's, it's good wood and it's a pretty, it, it would, will be a pretty piece of furniture with a little bit of cleaning. So that's the plan. Okay, the other thing I'm going to do with this thing is uh, I'm going to get a little, uh, some of those flat-headed tacks. I'm going to put them right here. This, you can see how these are worn. That's the part that the edge of the drawer rides on. The flat-headed tacks has a smooth painted surface and that will uh, allow the drawer to slide easily on there. And I'm going to take this. This is an old wax candle. Not good for anything. Just about burned out. And I'm just going to take the old wax candle. I'm just going to rub this this sliding surface here all along the part where the the drawer is going to be sliding uh, what the wax does is it lubricates that back in the old days when I was a kid and kids I guess kids still play on the sliding boards I can remember mom brought out a, a roll of wax paper and we we waxed the sliding board of course nowadays you know it's all modern kids get a, a you know, a can of silicone spray and they'll spray it and, and that'll make it slippery. Back in the old days, we'd take some wax paper, we'd rub down the sliding board with the wax paper and make it nice and slippery so you could get a good, good bit of speed going when you slid, you know, that was cool. But anyway, soap and or wax is what they would have used to, to make things slippery like this back in the old days. It'll make that drawer slide in and out real nice. And what I'm doing is I'm just rubbing this all along all of the surfaces where the wood's going to be touching uh, and that will make it nice and slippery and the drawers will slide in and out nice and smooth and everybody will be happy. So, uh, let's see, I'll let that sit and dry. Chris going to bring some tacks over. We'll take it upstairs, we'll put the drawers in there. Life is good. Okay, this is what, this is worth talking about too. Uh, these drawers, well, I don't see one right now, but, uh, like this one, this drawer had pulled out of the little notch. There's a notch that is right in here, and the bottom of this drawer goes into that notch. What I did was I took the paper out, I drove it back into that notch, I got that lined up, and then I put a nail right in this part to hold the whole thing good and sturdy. This is a really cheap simple, easy fix, doesn't cost you any money, doesn't require any major woodwork, and it changes this from being a drawer at the bottom about to fall out of it, the whole thing being wobbly, if you get a good firm square, easy to work with drawer. Just thought I'd share that with you. Okay, there's a shot of the dresser all finished up. Uh, I say finished up, I haven't done anything to refinish it yet. Just, you know, got it all working. Uh, let's see if I can sit this camera down in such a way where you can see what I'm doing. And see now the drawers uh, open and close 
nice and smooth. That's all you need is something that works, and it works. I'm happy with it. Uh, you can tell all my furniture matches, can't you? <laughs> Have a nice day.